meeting another photographer that I met just about a year ago, and and uh, yeah, we, we became friends since. You know, we are both professionals, and uh, obviously, obviously, you know, if you follow my channel, you would know that I shoot weddings and street travel kind of things um, uh, professionally, and this photographer. I'm gonna introduce him to you guys uh, later. He's a wildlife guy. You know, he's done some really exciting and exclusive stuff. Uh, you know, you should really check him out. Uh, so I'm gonna put all his details down in the descriptions, and of course, you will see him in person in just a sec. Finally, finally, he's in London, and I can, you know, go around doing some photography and have some photography chat. So you know, you might find this quite interesting this time. So uh, hopefully, hopefully, we can get some conversations going on, so uh, stay tuned for this, see you in a bit. Right, that's set. This is him, Tom Mason. I remember his name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> awkward. Yeah, well actually, no, he's, no we oh, met about a year ago. Yeah, it's about a year ago in Ronda. Ronda, yes. yes. Right. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was a beautiful place. I can't believe it's a year early. No, I, it's crazy. I like a year ago in Spain, you know, getting there, going out and photographing, testing some new cameras. That's yes. good. It was the OMD. It was the OMD Mark II. Mark II. That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, which I'm actually using now. And we became friends since. So we've been communicating. You know, we've been doing a lot of things. And but this is actually the first time yeah. that we sit down and we're going to pull out our cameras. Walking around London, you go shoot it. <laughs> what are you going to use? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I do have an 85. That's what I've got. Good. Same page. <laughs> Me, Tom, and I want to do, a, do a, a comparison of our gears that we have today. And both of us got a few cameras. <laughs> yeah. In the back, let's start with uh, my main one, the main cameras. Right. iPhone. iPhone. First. First. <laughs> most important thing. Bags. Oh, yes. Yes, bags. Look, we we both are Billingham. We're big Billingham fans. Yeah. yeah, Billingham love us. We love Billingham. Yeah, <laughs> both. They're very good bags as well. So, if you are going to invest in a bag, get a Billingham bag. Yes, they will last. They last forever. I mean, literally. <laughs> and they look great as well. So, <laughs> first camera, my iPhone. Right. I have an iPhone. I have an older iPhone. Okay. Olympus EM1 Mark II. With a 45mm 1.2. I have a D500 with an 85mm. Yeah, we are equivalent actually, so yeah, equivalent focal length. Interesting shit today. Although mine's on a crop body, so I've actually got 100 and something. 120 odd? My math is bad. Yeah, 120 odd. Good. <laughs> a bit more distance. And then I have a. Uh, whoa! Yes, my trusty Leica M6. I have my trusty Leica M8. And uh, well, I've got one filming right now, which is the Sony RX100. I have a Sony A6500. I think your Leica is definitely one that I want a lot. And I've wanted an M6 for a long time. Really? I do love my M8. The M8 is cool though, you know, you have to know. The M8 has got the Kodak sensor, which has actually got really, really special colours. Yeah. And I think a lot of people overlook the M8 because basically they think that it was Leica's first digital rangefinder and it was a bit of a flop. And yeah, it has a 1.3 sensor that means you crop, but I got a 28mm that gives me a 35mm equivalent. Perfect. Um, but the Kodak sensor produces really beautiful colours and I actually don't have the infrared filter on the front. And most people would put an infrared filter on the front because your purples, yes. your blacks go like purple colour, not great. But if you shoot black and white, oh yeah, it's black and white is perfect. perfect. So definitely very good. Very contrasting when you shoot black and white this time. Set it to F8, zone focus it, get out and shoot. No, I don't know if you can see that I'm on F8 already. No, I'm, I'm pre set already. I'm ready. <laughs> it's kind of sad. But, yeah. <laughs> the only other thing I've got. Yeah. What's that? My Lee filters. Oh, so, these are the Sevens kit, um, and this is the really small set that comes with the polarizer and the mini grads that are really cool. Um, so I can use these with my Leica 
because I have an adapter or the Sony, uh, just meaning I've got a little bit more control over light. It's quite handy. Well, Tom just beats me because I don't have any filters at all. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to carry them, but yes, they are very handy. I have lens cloth. <laughs> this one's bigger than mine. Mine is tiny. And it's a Lee Filters one. That are the best. Uh, it's not showing off. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's about it. Right, I think I'm going to have to stop here because I can see the blinking now. It's overheating. Oh, God. <laughs> Great thing about Sony is overheat yeah. a lot. Lens cap off. First thing to do. Yep, what, do you, what do you do? You, you aperture or you manually? I manually usually yeah. set exposures and uh, F8. Actually, I only got 400 films, so I don't know whether it's actually fast enough for F8. So uh, I've got to shoot a roundabout ISO 320 to make it okay. Yeah. So I've got to keep it quite. Yeah, I'm a little over. So that's nice. That'll be fine. Cool. And the great thing is if you pre-focus as well. Here I'm set between uh, one meter and four meters. Basically means that as soon as someone comes past, I can just take the picture and I get the shot. I don't have to worry about focusing or refocusing. Just ready to go. Just you know, set. Know what it's going to be. And the more and more you do it, the more used to it you get. So here's some tips. Hey. But the only thing you've got to wear aerial is sometimes you have to get really, really close to people, and you have to kind of look through them. So if you're set a a meter and you've got to get really close to people just take the picture stand there and just wait for them to walk off because it looks like you're just waiting for them to get out of the way and they don't know that you've taken a picture of them cool. Just need to look for a good background and a good subject. Right Lane's a very interesting area. Yes. Lots of people milling around, that's quite good. And the biggest thing is loads of people have headphones on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just have to shout louder. <laughs> oh. Oops. Oh shit. Look at that. And that is why stop. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Well, that was a close call. <laughs> I'm actually a wildlife photographer, it's what I do, so this is well out of my comfort zone. But well, that was really cool. nice, thank you very much. Yeah. Well, thank uh, you. Uh, thank my you. name is Jimmy. Yes. Jimmy. Francesca. Yeah, Francesca. Oh, Francesca. nice to meet you. Nice, nice name, I like, I like your name, I like your name. Very good. There we go, first one done. First yeah, one done. you've done well. I'm more confident now. You've, done, you've cool. done well, you've done well. Sweet. Thank very you nice very much. There you go. Thank you very much. Sweet. Have a nice day. Thank, thank you, you, thank you too. Thank you, Francesca. Thank you. Bye now. Bye. That is good. All right, was that okay? Yes, you okay. passed, you passed. Done. Coffee break. Yeah, my legs are killing me. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, well, we had some fun. Yep. We uh, did some cool stuff along break lane, oh. and we did some street portraits. Did some pigeons. Mm -hmm. uh, Tom trying to show me how to photograph animals. But I think we're going to do another future shoot Pro on that. Proper one. Proper yeah, one. Proper yeah, yeah, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we had some fun. But street portrait was good. You know, we, we did some good shots there. And both Tom and I actually went out and asked some nice people, and yeah. uh, so we, we had some good shots. It was good fun to, you know, 
push myself out of my boundary a little bit and talk to people and just go up to them and say, hey, can I take your picture? You look quite cool. Yeah. And uh, it was quite fun. And then. you might be wondering, you know, like, why are we having all these out? Because we did use all of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Surprisingly. Yeah. I mean, like, I do think to myself that I would shoot the 85 more. I think after we've had coffee, yeah. I'm going to probably use the 85 a bit more, get some nice out-of-focus backgrounds and stuff, more isolate people a bit more. Yep. Um, and I feel a bit more confident about just going up to someone with a big camera now. Um, but the light is going to come in handy for some street more intimate of, shots yeah, more yeah. intimate yeah you can get a bit closer to the subject which I often do with my, my, my street portrait work which I actually go up to them so uh, this is still my tool um, but as you may wonder you know like I've got this uh, Tom mentioned earlier I've got my brand new 45 uh, so you know I'm actually testing this so I'll be probably using this later on a little bit more because I just want to test the, the capabilities of this and how it renders the images and uh, yeah so I'll be using that later and uh, not so much of the Leica in fact I only got about six frames left you know it's not many yeah I've got about 600 so we're, we're good <laughs> but that's the thing about digital versus uh, film but actually that's an interesting question you know mm. like uh, we, we were having that discussion earlier you know like uh, we, w we were walking from a shady area to a bright sunny area uh, where I start with basically just one one film speed yeah you know like and and as digital I think that's a convenience I think digital now you can change your ISO straight or without changing aperture shutter speed you can just change that where I'm kind of stuck you know I have to compromise in terms of you know sometimes I may not want an f2 shot yeah I actually want an f8 shot but I couldn't because I'm struggling with light yeah so I have to push it uh, so this is something you know like a lot of film photographers or starting out using films you know they may not understand the relationship because they are so used to digital mm. with uh, ISO you know they can set up and down but you cannot do that with film you know you're stuck with one speed until you finish the roll of film yeah and I think the thing the interesting thing and why I really like the M8 is the fact that in a way it's kind of a bit of a gateway to film yes. I always see it because you can't really push the ISO to 1200 unless you're only doing black and white because um, yeah. it just looks really grainy um, but at 160th or um, you know 160 yeah. um, 320 it looks really good and that's what I try to keep it at um, so it gives you a bit more flexibility in terms of what you can shoot but at the same time it still makes you a bit yeah. more restricted you know on my D500 I can nail it up to like 12,000 and just shoot that's great whereas the Leica, I'm a bit more restricted in what I can do. And I think that makes you a little bit better as a photographer because you have to you have to look for shots. You Absolutely. have to go, Absolutely. you know, you understand. You have to understand and start reading lights. That's why, as a documentary photographer, mm. I use fast lenses. You yeah, know, like I use 1.2 because that will give me that flexibility in any given situation. I can use lower ISO so can get a cleaner shot. Mm. Not so much about bokeh. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. I think. Bokeh is one of those things that I, I love the word bokeh and I like using bokeh as a sexy word though. Yeah, it's a sexy word. For a create it has to be for a creative yes. purpose. Like just shooting bokeh for bokeh's sake is a bit crap. You've yeah. got to really use it for a but I think especially when you have used something like a, a Leica, the manual focus aspect of it really makes you think about shots. You have to really concentrate the whole time. You know, if you just stick this in auto, you can just go for it yep. and yeah it's uh, very easy to do that as well yeah yeah and you know you can just stick it in continuous high just like you know it, <laughs> don't do that yeah <laughs> you, don't don't be that but, but with this i think it's just a bit more slow and steady and yes. that's quite nice yes. i'm looking forward to this afternoon of just taking it slow shooting maybe 100 pictures something like that and that'd be great you yeah. know if i just get two good ones happy day so i think we're gonna finish these um head out do some more head out Get some more pictures. Right, cool. Let's go. Cool. Cheers. Cheers.
spent a whole day walking around and uh, did get some good shot with Tom. How are you doing, Tom? Very well. Just, we, uh, look, it's, the, the day has gone dark now. I know. We've been shooting all day. Yeah. We've got a couple of pictures that we like. That's yeah. quite good. I but, know. Uh, Definitely a fun day out today. We had some sticky wings, uh, so now we are full. They were Jimmy's choice and they were fantastic. Very, very good. And Tom has tried his first root beer ever. Yes. It was nice. It was very nice, actually. It tastes kind of medically. <laughs> medically. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I have to spell that now, it's going to be on the screen. Yeah. Medically. Let's <laughs> take that in. 15 per second. 5 6. Cool. Let's go. We're going to spend the last hour here before we conclude yeah. our sales. Oh, the buildings are really good. I like the light, I do like the light, mm. but unfortunately I cannot see the light because what I have here is the XP2, so it's only black and white. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I can only see yeah, black or white. <laughs> or something in between, greys. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, I think that's the end of the day. Yeah, pretty uh, much. We had some fun at Brick Lane and Speed of the Market. We did some street portrait stuff, I think. Yeah. It's, it's Jimmy, Jimmy has taught me a huge amount, so that's good fun. Yeah, uh, it's always good. It's always good to have a buddy like this. Yeah, yes, yeah. That's, that's awesome. You know, Try and, something new. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And next time is going to be something new for me yeah. because Tom is going to do something different. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. take Jimmy on a wildlife shoot because I think you challenged me today to like go out to random strangers. So next time I'm going to challenge Jimmy yep. to crawl through the undergrowth. And, and, and mind you, I don't have any gears for wildlife photography. So gears, my longest lens important. is only 200, you know. Yeah, gear, gear's not important. That's the whole thing. Well, so, the thing is, you know, shooting a deer from, you know, not not from six feet distance. <laughs> yeah, true. But we'll try. We'll see we'll what try, we can do. We'll try. Yeah, but no, Tom is going to give me all the hints and all the tips, everything, techniques. So hopefully, I can get some cool shots to show you guys. Should be good. Yeah, and and you know, like if you're interested, you know, like I don't think you see all the details about Tom. You know, his shows a handle. This is all going to be in the description, so you can check him out. Instagram, Twitter, yeah, Facebook, yeah. Channel, all of that stuff, yeah. all of that stuff, technical yeah. stuff that we're gonna. But look at those, let's look at those lights. Look at it. Look, look, look at, at the city. That. See, like that's how long we have been walking. Yeah. Since morning until all now. Day. Yeah. All day. So, okay. I think, as the lights get good, we're we should do, do last few pictures, final shots, and then get coffee. Yep. And then I've got to go to an event, and you. I've got to go home and speak to, my, speak to my clients. Yeah. <laughs> Right. All right. Okay. See you guys soon. Next time. See you later. Bye. Bye.